Hi guys, I'm Kushbu and welcome back to my channel. So today, as the title suggests, I am here to tell you guys my top 10 2018 trends. And uh, yeah, I'm like, like really, really, really late to be doing this video. I should be doing this somewhere around January and February, but then it is already april end of april but um yeah i had like so many things going on in my life for the first four months of 2018 and um yeah i finally have the time to tell you guys uh the trends of 2018 that i am i am digging so yeah without further ado let's get started so number one trend is ultraviolet it's the color of the year Pantone color of the year and um yeah, it is purple and anything like um, related to purple and spe especially the color that is like very in is lavender, lilac and all that stuff. Um, I was very spectacle of this color because I am someone who is who is always inclined towards the pink tone and I don't know whether it would suit me or not and then um, the first time I tried this color was when a designer suggested me uh, to make this color for my lehenga that I had uh, worn on the my on my brother's wedding in the bright side of the party, I was wearing that, and then I love that color. Like, especially if you have yellow skin undertone like me, it uh, it's gonna look so good on you. Like, it's gonna suit you, suit your skin tone, and uh, yeah, I, I really really like that color, and also. We had been seeing too much of pink, like millennial pinks, even even the color of the year last year, not 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 last year, 2016. It was rose quartz, and then whatever. But then the pink pink tone had been like um, dominating the fashion scenario for such a long time, and now we are finally getting a different tone. Um, yeah, but then yeah, I'm loving this. And number two, I'm sure you guys already know that 80s. It's gonna be huge this year. So number two trend is 80s. So whatever other trends that I am telling you guys uh, are somehow inspired by the 80s, and uh, I am loving it, guys. Can we can we finally thank the Lord that dressing up is finally in? Like seriously, we have enough. Like I think it's like. It's come to a point when it, where it's like irritating because the comfort, the androgynous fashion, um, the comfort fashion has been dominating the fashion since scenario for such a long time. And I think now it's time for them to go like the tracksuit, the um, the outfit that um, the androgynous fashion. You know what that is, right? The uh, fashion like. That does not separate boys and girls like it's like universal it had to go because it like it was like a been a very long time that it was in in the fashion world and as a fashion student i've learned about the curve of fashion and uh, you guys uh, if you're a fashion student you know or if you're a very fashion fanatic you know but then for some of you who do not know so whatever trend that comes it comes from introductory period and it goes to its peak and then it goes down to decline and all that stuff there's like many things in between which I do not want to get in details to so yeah the comfort fashion was had had been in the peak peak um, level for such a long time and it it's finally gone and I am very happy guys <laughs> I thank the Lord for that because I mm -hmm, mm -mm, though that kind of style is not for me I tried I tried I don't know if it's because I'm short or if it's because I am kind of kind of toward the choppy side right now or I don't know what it just didn't go well with me at all like at all I just couldn't do it I tried I tried but then mm -hmm, mm, not happening to me and I'm finally glad I am someone who loves dressing up like yeah that's me and then finally this year dressing up is back and I'm so happy it actually it started like around May last year but then it started with bla uh, blazers that you would um, tie a belt around with but then yeah it was along the androgynous fashion but then like it somehow kind of shifted to the dressing up 
uh, thing. And now 2018, we are finally going to see a lot of girls acting like girls. Okay, so I, I don't think I could call this trend like number two because this is the uh, 80s is kind of um, dominating every other trend that I'm going to be talking about. It's actually it's well inspired by the 80s. So number two trend that I need to talk about is thin glasses like I'm sure you guys have seen this like everywhere from fashion bloggers to fashion designers to um, runways models and all that stuff Instagram influencers everyone are being everyone are like um, embracing this trend and thin glasses are really 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 huge this 2018 this year and designers like Prabhul Gurung our own very designer Hamri Badi Mahurikeku designer. So designers like Prabhul Gurung and Prada really uh, started with the trend and then celebrities like Rihanna, Rihanna and then Selena Gomez and um, who else? Who else? Um, I don't know. But then uh, celebrities like Rihanna and Selena Gomez made it like huge and then, then we had Song of Style and all those fashion bloggers who bought it to the mass market and I am loving it. And also our own model, Nepali model Rihanna, um, she wore um, those kind of thin glasses for her DS collection shoot and I loved it guys. You guys need to see her in the DS collection page or on her own Instagram page. Like, she's just killed that um, trend. She's killed it. So, number three is puff sleeves. We've had enough of bell sleeves. We've had enough of mm, uh, no sleeves. Yeah, we've had enough of bell sleeves. Now it is time for puff sleeves. Like everyone are loving this trend so much. I can see it like almost everywhere in Hollywood, in Instagram, in everything. Like especially those exaggerated elevated puff sleeve puff sleeves are like really really in this 2018 and designers like Stella McCartney and Saint Laurent and especially especially Saint Laurent's version of puff sleeves were like really really exaggerated which I do not know if the mass market will like it but then uh, in the version of off-white I love it like off-white Gucci they're doing like, really well in the puff sleeve and I'm loving it loving it like loving it oh, now number what number is it I think it's number four okay so number four of 2018 is i guess you guys have already seen this everywhere it started it was started by gucci any guesses guys i think you guys already know it's related to an accessory it's related to bag so yeah tell me what is it what is it tell me what is it if you guessed it fanny packs yes you're right so belt bags are like really really in this here and uh, it's very handy what can be more beautiful than not having to have a hand carry around your hands having your belt around your waist and your hands being free isn't that awesome isn't that awesome it's like so handy because you can do so many other things with your hands like play with your phone take a selfie and uh, yeah walk hand, hand in hand with your best friends <laughs> whatever but then yeah I, I really loved that trend and Gucci made it huge I would love to buy that Gucci bag um, that fanny pack Gucci bag I would love to get it that is it so trend number five is let's talk about shoes and we know which kind of shoes is really making it big this year it is ugly sneakers your daddy shoes that you used to hate looking at I, I i hated those kind of shoes unless balenciaga made it huge it's that white chunky shoes that you see on every fashion bloggers every influencers every models anyone who is fashion fanatic see i'm sure you guys you guys have seen it because white chunky shoes is like really huge and uh, this year and um, yeah, it started with Balenciaga and Louis Vuitton and uh, the brand that made it accessible to everyone is Fila. So I guess you guys know that Fila Disruptor is in. So you should get one for yourself. So trend number six is we have to talk about feathers and fringe this year because it's like 
going crazy. Everyone, uh, every designers are using it. Be it in the bag, be it, be it in the boots, shoes, be it um, obviously jackets, skirt, dresses, and even on trench coats. Like designers are going crazy. So obviously Saint Laurent went like kind of crazy with this trend and then there are other designers like Gucci, Ferragamo, Valentino, Marc Jacobs, Christian Dior and all of that uh, designer used, their, uh, used, used it for their collections this year and uh, yeah if you see anything fringe, fringy and feathery go ahead and buy it so trend number seven is florals so florals always make makes their way to the trend anyhow like it's in trend every year and but then uh, there are like different versions of florals but then this time the florals that are really really in is um, retro florals but they have big prints prints on their um, outfits and then the colors are like very um, very dark and in your face type of um, dark is not in black not black brown kind of a dark but then uh, red greens yellow whatever but then it's like more saturated version and it's like towards the darker side and um yeah retro florals are really really in this Trend year number eight is straw bags straw hats anything related to straws so the circular kind of bag that you see most of the bloggers wearing those bags are like really really in this year and then even the hats are really in but I'm digging the bags like the especially the circle ones made out of straw I am loving it so ten trend number nine is if you guys like follow trend of every year if you guys know what's going in what's going on and what's going out then you guys know that I have not um, talked about one of the important trend that's going on in 2018 and it is plastic fashion yay plastic transparent fashion it might sound a little um, cringy ew but then Kim Kardashian made it huge by wearing that plastic boots uh, last year and ever since then plastic things are like going on trend like um, with a bang and I am digging Chanel's plastic bag it's like so beautiful guys so beautiful and Last but not the least, we are here in our for our trend number 10 that I am loving. Cargo pants. Um, have you seen those influencers wearing the pants that are like tight at the waist and around their ankles and loose around the other parts of the leg? Like it goes something like this. Yeah, those are cargo pants and I am loving it. And especially when they wear with a chain on the side yes i can't wait to wear my version of that cargo pants and um yeah that is it those are my top 10 trends of 2018 you can obviously put around your own style into this fashion and then go around with it and yeah those are my top trends and apart from that there are like uh, other trends that are like really huge this year and i'm gonna share share with share it with you guys like um very fast and uh those are polka dots like designer like carolina herrera balenciaga they like um incorporated that in their um runway and yeah polka dots are huge this year denims not to forget denim obviously not not we can never forget denims but then this time around um a different type of denim is in like it's more more into the darker color tone and with patches around them and all that stuff and um yeah another trend that is huge is gucci t-shirt like with the logo with it like anything logo is really in but then the most famous one that got like um instant hit was gucci with a gucci t-shirt and i love that t-shirt but i do not know if i if, if but i do not know if i would be buying that t-shirt because it is it retails for $590 and I do not know if I want to spend $590 on a t-shirt I don't know but you never know what happens right and then again there is snake skin that is going uh, that's going on uh, for this year like in pants in boots and stuff like that like, snake skin is huge and then there are obviously not to forget gingham prints <laughs> that I'm wearing right now and plaids and um, checks and all that stuff that's like huge 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 
and then there are other things but then these are the things that i'm loving i'm loving a lot and i can't wait to wear it and if you guys want me to feature a lookbook video featuring all these looks that i like all the trend that i really really loved for the year 2018 then please do let me know i will do that for you i like i'll i'll make a lookbook video of every trend that i talked about today let me know which is your favorite trend for 2018 i would love to see all of you guys is um uh, favorite trends and uh, yeah that is it for the video guys today don't do not forget to share it with your friends and families if you like it and do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time i i upload a new video i'll be back really soon next friday till then stay happy stay positive and spread smile wherever you go